Member for West Vancouver, Capilano. Thank you, Mr. Speaker. Um, well, the minister might want to check the websites of all of the health authorities where uh, all of their executives are listed uh, and comp uh, compensation. Um, uh, uh, there's org charts pictures uh, which may be helpful for him. Um, we have 64 VPs in health authorities in British Columbia, while in um, Alberta with a very similar population, uh, there are nine. Uh, so we have to look at how are we managing the administrative costs of our health services budget here. Now, in Vancouver Coastal, there are 17 senior executives, including a vice president who made $463,000 last year, Mr. Speaker. This bloated uh, NDP bureaucracy has done nothing for patient care. When a woman was left to die unattended in a closet of a Lionsgate emergency room, this minister claimed that she received, quote, substantial care, end quote. Apparently, this minister's definition of substantial care is the family finding their loved one dead in a closet. So can the minister tell the nurses at Lionsgate Hospital and the family of those who have died in this health care crisis why he employs 64 vice presidents and can't ensure there is access to basic health care in this province. Here, here. Minister of Health. Well, Honourable Speaker, uh, I, I think the facts are the facts that the uh, Canadian Institute for Health Information measures administration as a burden on the health care system. The Canadian average is 4.4 percent. We're at 3.3 percent, which is 25 percent lower. But you know, Honourable Speaker, we, we want it, and we want to continue to ensure administrative savings are there. But I, I want to say, Honourable Speaker, that I think our health care teams, including the presence of our health authorities, who receive often receive very significant criticism, but have worked with a dedication that is extraordinary, Honourable Speaker, uh, deserve, I think, a degree of respect in this legislature. In the Northern Health Authority, Kathy Ulrich, who is our outstanding president and CEO in the Northern Health Authority, has reduced administrative expenses as a share of the budget from 10.1% to 8.8%. 10.1% the last year of Liberal government, 8.8% this past year during a pandemic, wow. Honourable Speaker. So what we're saying, Honourable Speaker, is we're re we've reduced administration, and the reason, and the reason she's done that, is her focus and our focus in the north, in the interior, in Vancouver Coastal and everywhere in ensuring we hire frontline staff to provide services for people. There are significant challenges in two public health emergencies, Honourable Speaker, but our health, health authority CEOs have reduced administration costs as a share of the budget from the time when the Liberals were in office, according to the Canadian Institute for Health Information and according to the facts. And Honourable Speaker, this suggestion that there are, uh, there are hundreds of people earning over $400,000 a year is inaccurate. Um, the opposition knows it. How you do it, if you want to do an average, is you take the total amount of compensation and you divide it by the total number of vice presidents. It's not that hard, Honourable Speaker. And I would say, Honourable Speaker, with great respect, that our health care teams have done a good job. Can we reduce administration costs further? Yes, we can, and we're going to continue to strive to do that. But we have done that as compared to their record in government.